The Goham fam has spoken. We are back in Pennsylvania. Hey, uh, what's going on, everybody? DJ Goham, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Pennsylvania, baby. Oh, yeah. You guys said, DJ, we don't care. Just get back on the map. Go, go, get it. So we are back on Bucks County, Pennsylvania by TNT Modding. We are on the PC today playing on the version that is on Mod Hub, available for PC players. As you know, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be seeing this map back on consoles. It was released, released briefly, and then a lot of bad things happened <laughs> to make it not. So we're here. I have been waiting for like three months to play on this map. It has been so long since we were on here, and we are back. But a lot of things are going to be different this gameplay. A lot of things will change. For example, instead of going over and starting on the main farm with big fields and all this stuff, well, we're going to be starting with very little. As a matter of fact, we still have all that stuff here. So together today, we're going to be deleting everything on the main farm. We're going to be getting rid of everything that's in the silo and we're going to be buying a farm that's kind of right in front of you right now. We're going to be buying the sheep area here on the map. It's over by the main uh, main store, so it's really close to things. Plus, it's almost dead center in the map. Well, not really dead center, but it's close enough. That way, we've got a nice place to start. It's actually coming up right here in front of you on our right-hand side, right in the center as well. That's going to be our main farm. And our house, as you can see, is going to be right there at the bottom right-hand corner. This, this is where we will start our journey here on Bucks County, Pennsylvania. So, let's get it started. Let's have a and all the things. Flight motors, oh no! <laughs> and, and we're on the ground just like that. All right, what do we have here and what are we getting rid of? Um, all the things and everything, as a matter of fact. Yep, every single piece is going. TNT Bonnie has hooked us up, baby. He has hooked us up with everything we need. We've got a uh, 6R, we have a 6M series, which is right behind us. Over here, we have an 8R, we've got a quad track, the S790 combine, planter, cedars, fertilizers, mowers, tatters, windrows, balers. We have all the things. We got massive trailers that'll do whatever we want them to do. And we don't get to use any of this. No. Oh, it stinks. But it's okay. We're going to be able to keep some of the money. And we're going to be able to, uh, well, we're going to have some fun. How's about that? So let's uh, let's start by getting rid of some mm, stuff in our silo. How about that? Let's do it with something fun. Let's jump with the quad track. Let's drive this stuff around at least. Oh, a little bit too far out. Let's drive this stuff around at least for right now. Because we are not going to be allowed to use this stuff at all now what kind of uh what kind of mods are we using dj what are you using we're actually using a lot of realism mods if you are keeping up with whatever we're up to whatever it is that we're up to over on griffin indiana I, i'm actually using the same mod set the exact same mod set with the exception of one mod which i will be deleting from that set as well the um the used equipment we will not be doing the used equipment mod at all so what I'm doing right now is I'm actually removing all of the stuff from the silo because it's so easy to want to cheat, isn't it? Yes, it is. So to remove the, uh, <laughs> remove temptation, I will actually be deleting at least everything from here. You know, I should actually start, I should check and see if we have anything in our main silo. Look at that. We have 8,547 liters left of wheat. Where is that wheat at? I got a pretty good idea where all this stuff is. I think it's over here. Now there are, uh, there is another silo on the map and it's actually the silo for our farm. Let's see, we're looking for wheat, 8547. Is that what we're looking for? I think so. Yep, we're down to zero. So we actually have not one, but two silos to get rid of stuff. 12,600 some liters of, uh, okay, so We've definitely got things that have things, but I don't want this stuff to be here again. This just, it makes you want to cheat too much, doesn't it? Makes me want to cheat. I love cheating in farm sim. It's my favorite thing to do, period. Like, at all. <laughs> I love cheating, man. So, we are removing that uh, temptation to steal this crops and all that kind of stuff. Because you, when you buy a farm, it, uh, real life, private, I don't, I don't know. I have to hit up Grant and be like, yo, Grant, do you have any crops on your farm when you bought it? I think the answer is no. Therefore, we are going to rid ourselves of all temptation here and completely delete 
all the crops from all the silos. Next, we need to get rid of the equipment. I would love to start my farm with a Quadtrack 620 and a John Deere 8400R. The face of Farming Simulator. The face. Oop, that's, that's like the ear. The face. <laughs> But we gotta get rid of it all, man. So let's get rid of it all. Let's go over, let's go into our garage. And quite literally, we're gonna start on the left-hand side and any piece of equipment is going because we're gonna be starting from scratch. We're gonna be starting fresh with all uh, fresh equipment. <laughs> there you go, we'll start with fresh equipment. So we need to get rid of all of this. Uh, one thing is we do have a lot of placeables on here as well. We're gonna leave those because I don't wanna mess with placeables yet. I'm afraid that I'll break something, so we're not going to do that. All right, you see this grain silo coming up right here? That grain silo is actually the one that we're going to be using. If we jump into the map real quick, we come over to here, I believe. I think it's this, farm silo. Yes, so this is actually the farm silo that goes on the farm that we're going to be buying. We are going to be buying this area, field 24, and this area, field 44. Now from here, we've got a couple other things that we need to do as well, because two small fields aren't going to do it for us. But, you know, well, you, but, mm, you know what I mean? But we need to sell all this other stuff because this is areas that we don't need any of this. Even this right here, we'll get rid of that. I think that's on the main farm. Yep, it is on the main farm. Well, let me sell it. Uh, no, because I've got placeables on there. Well, that is an easy thing to take care of. All right, so it's just that and this, I think, right? Yeah, okay, so... Uh, field 17, maybe? This should be kind of an easy way to do this. So let's go into here, I believe. So we want to sell. Um, it's either 1 or 82. We're about to find out. We'll click 82 first. Yikes. That was the wrong one. Uh, <laughs> can I buy that back, please? Thank you. <laughs> All right. So it looks like it's going to be sell 1. We'll click that. Perfect. All right. So as you know, in Farm Sim, you can't sell stuff when you got stuff on it. So we're just getting rid of it. <laughs> Easy way to do it. We do own all of this. However, it's zero bucks. It's not going to be anything good for us. Whatever is whatever. Now let's go ahead and buy the farms that we were going to buy to begin with. Okay. So we have these two right here. Then we have to figure out, do we want more? I think we do, but maybe that's just me. Let's go up in the air a little bit. Let's take a look and see what we have and uh, maybe we could be a better judge off of what we want. Let's turn on everything, there we go, okay. So our field right in front of us, this is gonna be one of our fields. If we go across the road, it looks like our other field that we own is gonna be 44 right across there. Now, this isn't a tiny, this is not tiny by any means, but I could use a third field. So let's figure out which one that's going to be. Is it going to be one that's around us? Is it going to be 45? Is it going to be 46? 23? Absolutely not. That, that field is massive. I do not want that field. What's easy to get to? What has access from our farm? Uh, it looks like this field might be the winner because it is right next to us. It's behind our house. I think it is perfect. Field 46. We're going to buy that. Now we have our farms we have right over here uh we have horses which is cool but we're not gonna do anything with the horses at least for right now uh all we needed that area for it was the silo that's on that area as a matter of fact we could technically sell that <laughs> and uh and just buy another plot like buy this field right behind us might get a little boring that's the only thing i'm worried about is it being a little boring plus Ooh, oh, oh, wow. Nice, yeah. I don't know what's going on there, but my computer is not happy. Just upgrading my graphics drivers. <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone, NVIDIA. I'm trying to do the right thing here. Let's come down to the ground real quick. Eh, you know what? I'm going to take a look. We might sell the area that's across the road and put our silo on this side. Maybe. Okay, so if you wanted me to keep the area across the road, I did. I kept it, and what I did was I added a silo extension. So now we have a multi-fruit, like a, a crazy, crazy multi-fruit extension. This is the small liquid silo extension? When did I put... <laughs> I, did I put the wrong thing down? I, I think I put the wrong thing down. That's not right. 
Is that what I bought? I did. Okay, so let's do that again, except let's do that together. Let's go into silos. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and find the XL version that's not liquid. Really? Did I click that? JTurk, what did you put on my computer? <laughs> what we're looking for is something like this. But I, I bought this. Small silo extension. Yeah. What did I buy? Oh, I did buy the liquid. Oh. Oh, that's 10 million. That seems too high. No, we just want like this. Yeah, 1 million. That's that's exactly what we want right there. Let's let's put that back. And, and let's come in here. Let's paint some more grass down. I'm so sorry. This poor area has just been getting hit by me bad. All right. So we got grass down. Planted grass. That's going to do its thing. So that is our silo now. It is a multi-fruit silo. And we have the area across the road. We have this field right here. We have this field over here. And then we have this little field right up here. Perfect amount of space for doing all the good stuff. Tell you what. This field right here might be good for a grass field. I might also be getting ahead of myself, but I feel like this would be a good grass field. I'm going to buy that field and make it a grass field. Sorry, not sorry. Got it. All right. How much money do we have left? I'm curious. Only $1.5 million left. Well, fortunately, we're right over here by the store. Here's the thing. I was going to go with a Case IH farm, or maybe a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I did talk to the modern TNT. He told me kind of what is in um, in Pennsylvania in that area, because he lives there. However, I don't know if you could tell or not, but uh, this combine's moving forward. I was going to go with this. This is a really nice combine. I like this combine. We're going to go with that instead. <laughs> Oh, this is the CR690. It is not the 590, so I could have gone smaller if I wanted to, but I decided, you know what? We're going to go with the 690 instead. Actually, I haven't picked out the other stuff yet, so let's just hang tight for a second. Let's talk about the combine choice. So uh, I think we actually do have a 590 in here. And if you give me a second, we'll take a look and see if maybe that would be a viable option as well. Yeah, the 590 right here. Uh, that is not a viable option. I really don't want to go with this. I like the tracks on here. See, 590. Uh, okay, that's what we're looking for. Yeah, I don't I don't want to start with that. <laughs> so um, we're actually using the uh, 690 modded right here. It is exactly the same as the normal 690 in-game. However, this is going to hold a little bit more. You guys know like the way I do. This holds 100,000 liters. Should get us through pretty much whatever we want to do. And then we have a beautiful header in the back that actually came from, um, I think it's Agritono, somebody like that. Anyway, that's the New Holland Case IH Draper Pack. I was going to use the exact same header on the case, but, well, we're not doing that now, are we? So let's jump in here. We'll kind of get this pulled out of the way. And let's go with a couple more things. Let's go with two more tractors. Let's go with one New Holland that will get the job done. You know what I'm saying? Like a T7, something like that. Maybe an older T7. I think an older T7 would be pretty sweet. Let's take a look through. We'll take a look and uh, and I'll show you what we come up with. Here's the tractors we've gone with. And yes, they're New Holland, but no, they're not conventional whatsoever. So I've gone for a T7 on the left, a little bit of an older model, and then a new T6 on the right. Both of these are mods. Both of these, I think both of these are from Blue Ogden. I'm not 100% sure. I know the one on the left right here is the red one. So we've gone for more of a Fiat Agri look and a blue power look. I've also added some panther stripes to the side of the combine. Oh, yeah. So I wanted to try something new, do something a little bit different, make the equipment different. <laughs> I think it's funny that the wheels are bigger on the small tractor. <laughs> Gotta love it. All right. So we know the equipment that we're going to be using. We do need a multi vehicle of some sorts. Let's go through, obviously the TLX is the easy choice, but is there anything else through here that we want to use? Maybe this, maybe not. Wait, this has three point on it now, doesn't it? Doo, 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 doo. Yeah, it does. Ah, uh, okay. Hey, this may be something. What's our speed on here, 31? Ugh, that's a little bit slow for what, for what we're wanting. You know what? We'll get it anyway. Why not? Main color. Let's definitely not get a blue one. All right. New Holland all the way around. Looking good. Looking good. That's actually going to be good because we need a scout. So let's go over here. Let's get ourselves one of these because we have precision farming installed. So we're going to need that. Eh, size difference isn't too bad between the two. It will work 
Perfect. Oh, I should have got the quad. That would have been so cool. What? Okay, no. Oh, we'll take a look. We'll, we'll look at the quad real quick. You know, it's it. It's not like it's gonna hurt, right? Oof. This would be fun. <laughs> Keep going. Hey, the TRA right here. You know what? I may actually go with this instead of the New Holland. Let's see. Rim color. Let's set this up to be a New Holland. How about that? New Holland colors right there. That's looking good. Will Brands. Uh, we definitely... Do we want to go with the Nokia and do we want to go with the Lizard? What looks more off-road to you guys? Honestly, the Nokia tires look more off-road. But I feel like the Lizard tires are going to be more... Arr. Let's let's just go with those. Do we go with the secondary rims? Nah, let's just go with the primary rims. Uh, let's see. We'll go with that. That looks pretty good. <laughs> no. Uh, let's let's go with like one front bumper thing. That'll look good. And then we need the rear hitch on here. Perfect. And that should hypothetically go perfectly with the Asaria Scout. We will double check just to make sure this will handle it fine. Yeah, that'll handle it okay. Okay. So let's get rid of the New Holland UTV. We'll line this bad boy. Don't do a little bit. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yep, it's a little, little bit off. That's okay. All right. So we have our four vehicles, two tractors. We have an ATV and we have our combine. Now we need all the extra stuff. So the mowers, tether, windrowers, baler, like probably not tethers because I'm just going to cheat it anyway. Um, but we definitely need a trailer. Now, I always tend to go more towards like a singular trailer, at least to start with. And we're going to show you that one right here. These are the trailers right here. I love these trailers. And here's the thing. We're already using this on Griffin, Indiana. So what would it hurt to have a couple of these, right? So we're going to get one of each, I think. So we'll have a little bit of a uh, little road train rocking and rolling. Might be a little bit heavy for the tractor that we've got, but I think we'll manage. Now we need to figure out what color we're going to make these. Do we want to go with an all black? Do we want to do white? What do we want to do? I'm not, I uh, actually don't know. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. It looks like the walls are going to continue to be white on here. So let's see, rim color is something that we could definitely change up. I think a black wheel would look pretty darn cool. Let's change that up to like a an onyx. Make that look kind of neat through there. Green? Nah, not really. Brown? <laughs> no. Uh, what, do, what do you guys think? And just like that? Just a couple couple black trailers rocking around doing their thing. See so who changed them all black. How's that look? A little bit better. Kind of like this. It it gives it, it's not old, but it's not quite meh anymore. You know what I'm saying? And I think these lizard uh, wide tires right here, those look pretty good. See, so trailer board, no, you know, lizard wide tire? Why not? Do we put logos on here? Absolutely not. Nobody needs to know what we're rocking with here. So what are we doing? Onyx and Onyx. All right, so we got one of those and give it to me there we go and we'll get one of these as well main color we'll get onyx through here that's not quite what i wanted to do rim color onyx oh yeah uh let's see lizard wide tires new logos purchase a little bit lagtastic through here but that's okay so there we go there's our trailers and those will be pulled together in tandem with the new holland t7 hopefully he'll be able to pull them so the final verdict on today is we have three vehicles well we got four vehicles we got a combine two tractors we got a little baby thing right there we got a couple tippers we've got nothing on there <laughs> we decided to go with pottinger mowers so or a uh, potiger mowers so we've got the uh, the modded versions of those that we have a modded game i got a 2500 kilogram weight to go with those as well Got the stereotypical plow. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint the uh, paint the field, the plow texture. We do have my stereotypical planter, or cedar rather, but it is a, uh, well, it's a black one. Speaking of a black one, we've got the K-Brand Axis uh, fertilizer spreader. This is going to be doing all of our lime. I decided to go with more of a chrome look to that. And then our loading wagon for the grass that we will be mowing up will be the Potinger, uh, this thing. I'm, I'm not sure what it is. It's... It's modded. I, I, I did things to it. I made zeros go bigger. Yeah. So there you go. That is everything that we are going to be using on this new playthrough here on Bucks County, Pennsylvania by TNT Modding. Again, I want to give a big shout out to you guys, the community, for your help and your support on this map. I was a little bit nervous playing on this map. I got to be honest with you guys. I was a little bit nervous because I didn't want to play on something that not a lot of people had access to so you guys have said you know what dj just 
play on the map, go have fun, do your thing, have some fun. And I had mentioned before, oh, that's a car, they're going to hit me. <laughs> and mentioned before that this is going to be probably the last playthrough here of Farming Simulator 19. And I wanted to have a good time with it. I wanted to play, I wanted to have fun, and I wanted to kind of start from nowhere and work our way up. And I think that's exactly what we've got to do here. Well, there you go, guys. That is our first video back here. The first Let's Play video in like two months or something crazy. It's insane. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Make sure you stay tuned because we're going to be popping videos hopefully every other day or so here. But I can tell you, there's definitely one tomorrow. So stay tuned. All being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.